statesman as he's doing, yes. And he's got his nice sport coat on. He's very handsy today. He's been throwing people <laughs> off the set, on the set. Very handsy. All right, so he played football bad boy, Tim Riggins, on hit series Friday Night Lights, remember that? Mm -hmm. Now he's playing a bad, bad man in the new film American Assassin. Please welcome Taylor Kitsch. <laughs> Playing with those puppies. Saw you back oh, it's there with a the puppies. Bombarded by puppies back there. All right, did you find a dog? Are you contemplating taking a dog home? I'm contemplating. I think it might have to be um, Missy. Missy? Yeah. yeah. Which one's Which Missy? One? Oh, is that there, Missy? Yeah. Is that Missy? Oh, yeah. She She's would be the one. She's, She's a blue eyed lady right there. Yeah, just staring right back at me. You know what's so funny? I wonder right. if these dogs know, and I've had this conversation before, like a dog that sees a celebrity walk in and is like, <laughs> yeah. I am about to be on Easy Street. <laughs> you think? Are you saying those those dogs are gold diggers back there? I'm not yeah. saying yeah. that. I'm just saying the dog is like, I'm just gonna be best best behavior. On my best behavior. That's so funny. I felt that. Yeah. Do you live in Texas? I do. Yeah, Austin, Texas. For the last, uh, yeah, there you go. Austin is such um, a great place. Yeah, last 12 years. And you're okay, uh, you're... You yeah, have, we you lucked have, out. You have a family that lives there. Uh, some really close friends um, that are actually... Marcus Luttrell, who's... Mm, of course, yeah, of course. I know Marcus survivor. well. Yeah. Um, and then a couple of SEALs are in there right now helping, mm -hmm. too, that are, like, really good friends. So. Yeah. So, um, we were talking uh, yesterday at the production meeting about mm -hmm. you a lot because, you know, Good. we all have a crush on you. We all have a crush on you. Um, and you have uh, an ability to tell a story that is like sad and tragic, but also funny. Like that is like your gift. So when you uh -oh. first got into acting, you mm -hmm. struggled a lot, right? Like you did not, yeah. you didn't just like make it overnight. No, yeah, I moved here to study and then, um it was uh, it was a good path, you know. I was uh, with no visa, being Canadian, it was mm -hmm. hard. I couldn't work. Right. And then um, a buddy of mine was doing bar mitzvahs uh -huh. as well for a while. So yeah. I tried to kind of hitch a ride on him, and uh, and go to these parties or whatnot. Right. And then uh, his boss was like, Yeah, you know what? Yeah, we'll just pay you under the table. It's fine. Great. And I'm like, Perfect. So where did and you then, live during that? Were oh you yeah. So um, it's. I lived in uh, Spanish Harlem uh -huh. uh, with no electricity and uh, no hot water. And then uh, with his, I was staying at his place for a bit, then got that place. Uh -huh. And then I'd use his girlfriend's blow up mattress as my furniture, uh -huh. which is awesome. <laughs> Sounds amazing. And then, um, and then uh, yeah, there's, I'd, I'd literally go and uh, steal candles from like garage sales and stuff. Yeah. It's bad, I know. But, uh, <laughs> wait, and what, what were you doing with the candles? So I needed light. <laughs> so. I thought you were setting a romantic scene yeah. with this little mattress. Yeah. With the inflatable with the mattress. Plate, have a gal over. <laughs> There's just, no. That's exactly where his mind goes to immediately. I thought yeah. he was surviving. I thought he was romancing the stone. <laughs> so, so I'd have, and I'd fall asleep sometimes with these candles on, and then I woke up one night with the uh, fire department literally trying to break down the door because a neighbor saw, like, flames from across the window and thought it was on fire. So you're in a pretty sketchy area, too, so it was, uh, it was a good time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when we come back, Kayla, tell us about the joys of being bad. It's a real good time. American assassin. And, and then what happens? <laughs> and, next? and then, uh, and then what happens? more terrible. I slap more people. <laughs> we see Michael Keaton in that. Yeah, yeah, Keaton. Up and coming actor. He's, yeah. Yeah, he he's got okay. a future. He has a future. When you hit somebody in the face, do you really hit them in the face? With Dylan, yeah. 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 <laughs> For sure. For he sure. deserved it. Too. I get him twice there, actually. Yeah. yeah. So well, it set the scene for what this movie is about. Yeah, so um, I play an American that went through the ranks of this special op, Orion, and um, 
Keaton plays basically the head of that, the uh, father figure, uh, mentor to my character. And on an operation, um, my character was left behind and tortured for years. And so um, time has passed and uh, he got out of that and he's come back with a vengeance on, um, to plan an attack that's super personal towards Keaton. And then O'Brien, uh, Dylan O'Brien plays Mitch Rapp, who is this, who's gone through uh, an early trauma in his life as well that's come through for revenge as well. So we kind of meet. Obviously, a, a shoot like that is very physical. Did anybody mm -hmm. get hurt? Because there's always somebody <laughs> yeah. that gets hurt. Are you the calamity? He's smiling. Who's, yeah. the calam yeah. Who's the calamitous one? Um, I would definitely, I mean, I hit Dylan a lot to be honest. <laughs> Did you hurt yeah. your hand? Yeah, that's what I was actually uh, worried about. No, we have this, it's an insane uh, scene on this boat that's going 70 miles an hour on the water and we're in the underbelly of it. There you go. No kidding. Is Dylan still talking to you? <laughs> yeah, but it was like, uh, it's, you know, when you're 15 hours in and they're like, okay, again, tighter, more energy, here we go, you know, and you're just like, uh, all right, let's go. More energy, you know? oh He's my God. Very, so, very compelling. Yeah. American Assassin in theaters on Friday, September 15th. Lots of action.